Sometimes, depending on the model and age of your Samsung television, it may request a Samsung wireless LAN adapter. And this is primarily as a result of your television not being manufactured with inbuilt Wi-Fi. If the back of your telly has got an Ethernet port, then you can connect your Ethernet cable from the back of your television or telly to your Ethernet hub or broadband. If your Samsung's telly's Ethernet cable or port isn't within a reasonable distance of your broadband or switch, then you can bypass the need to hardwire it with a wireless LAN adapter, which is the dongle or wireless adapter that I have got in my hands here. The dongle enables you to connect to the internet and other devices easily. It also enables you to stream content from phones, cameras, PCs and more. It helps link your entire entertainment system with the smart hub. And it also helps extend signal range using the included extension cable. So, an exhaustive list of its core capabilities would be that it helps to wirelessly access content for your smart telly from the internet or from your digital camera, mobile phone, your note PC and other DLNA certified multimedia devices. DLNA or your Digital Living Network Alliance technology can be divided into three broad certified class categories which are your home network devices your mobile handheld devices and your home infrastructure devices your home network devices encompasses your av receivers your game consoles your tellies and your pcs your mobile handheld devices encompasses your smartphones tablets digital cameras and the home infrastructure devices encapsulates your routers and your hubs okay so your LAN adapter enables you to seamlessly connect to a host or myriad of DLNA certified multimedia devices as previously highlighted in the aforementioned it also communicates with your smart hub and links instantly with all elements of your Samsung home entertainment system it is supported by the latest wireless LAN protocols and helps to easily access and connect to all Samsung's all share and enables the streaming of content directly from devices to your Samsung telly. So you can expand and increase the wireless range and strengthen the signal by connecting the dongle to your smart telly. Depending on the location of the port at the back of your telly, and if your telly is wall mounted or hasn't got room at the back, the LAN adapter has got a right angled adapter that helps you maneuver the room area between the telly back and the wall. Okay. So the Link Stick wireless LAN adapter enables you to enjoy greater wireless connection, helps you to transform to a smarter TV connectivity without the need to hardwire an ethernet cable from the back of your teleport to your broadband switch okay and you can see here i have connected the link stick dongle without the right angled adapter you can connect it you know depending on if you've got room at the back of your telly and where the ethernet port is situated okay it's pretty much plug and play you don't need any software for the link stick dongle the next step would be to run through the network settings on your telly suffice to say the next half of the video encompasses how to connect the wi-fi that's not visible on your telly to your broadband this video shows you how to connect your samsung tv or telly to your internet wi-fi network first hit the left cursor on the remote control until you get to the gear button which is the icon that represents your setting. Then hit enter, which is at the center of the cross cursor button. Scroll down to general, hit enter, and scroll down to network and hit enter. Hit enter on the network status. And when it checks for the wireless network connection, it highlights that it is not connected. So we scroll left and hit enter on the network settings. Network status, wireless, and the actual live network connection, which isn't connected which is the BT broadband with a suffix Z. In your case, this will be your actual broadband. 
The next step would be to input your password into the row section. Make sure that you input the right characters in their respective slot positions, whether it be capital letters, small letters, symbols or alphabets. And this should seamlessly connect you to your wireless broadband. Suffice to say, you now have an active connection as opposed to a dormant or passive or inactive connection. And when you open your network settings or status, you can see that your telly or television is connected to your broadband. Suffice to say, you now have an active internet connection. And that's about it really. If you found the information useful, don't forget to subscribe, like and share and hopefully catch up with you later. Goodbye.